A former sleepy fishing village turned Chinese Silicon Valley developed uncannily on the lines of San Francisco Bay Area. Shenzhen is staring at a miserable future as US President Donald Trump is systematically taking apart the city by raising one company at a time. Today, the biggest Chinese tech giants, including the genome sequencing company BGI, China's premier electric IT and automobiles company BYD, gaming and communications tech giant Tencent, China's largest listed telecom company ZTE, and the global telecom firm Huawei are based out of Shenzhen. However, after the trade wars and the coronavirus pandemic, America has rained down heavily upon some of the companies such as Tencent and Huawei, which form the fulcrum of this Chinese Silicon Valley's economy. Shenzhen's fortunes changed in 1987 after Ren Zhengfei, a Chinese People's Liberation Army veteran, established Huawei here. The southeastern Chinese city grew at a breakneck speed that came to be known as Shenzhen Speed. Almost three decades hence, Huawei emerged as China's biggest private company, so-called, and Shenzhen's prized jewel. As of 2016, the 5G tech giant accounted for about 7% of the city's economic output and was the single largest contributor to Shenzhen's GDP. Huawei also became China's only global telecom company with a staggering annual revenue of 123 billion US dollars. However, the Chinese success story has come to a screeching halt of late as America makes China pay for creating demons that threaten the free flow of information and engaged in surreptitious espionage activities. After the supply in the chain of components and parts originating from the US dried up, Shenzhen's manufacturing and innovation division nosedived with Huawei being the biggest casualty. South China Morning Post has reported, US sanctions on China's Huawei spell trouble for Shenzhen economy. The report suggests that the demise of Huawei's global ambitions would cut Shenzhen to size. And after all, Huawei is not the only company facing setbacks across the world. Rather, all major Chinese tech companies are facing some kind of issue that could collectively bring down China's tech and innovation hub, Shenzhen. Reported by TFI earlier, Huawei has said that its survival is at stake after USA semiconductor export restrictions on the company. In May last year, the US had put a ban on American technology export to Huawei by its companies. But many countries in East Asia like Taiwan, Japan and South Korea manufacture consumer electronics essentials using American technology. Therefore, it was easy for Huawei to game the US export ban and import these products from other East Asian countries. But with the new rules in place, even these countries have not been able to supply equipment to the Chinese giant. Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company TSMC, a Taiwanese company that manufactures semiconductors based on secretive American design, had announced that the company would not be taking any new orders from Huawei. Moreover, the Trump administration has decided to ban people from downloading TikTok and WeChat, the popular video sharing app and messaging come payments app respectively. The Department of Commerce of the Trump-led administration said that users would not be able to download these apps from any platform because the US government is banning them on the grounds of national security. WeChat has a total of 19 million users in the US, which is nothing compared to, say, TikTok. But for the people of China living in the US, WeChat is a super app. It offers a multitude of services including instant messaging, payment services, social networking, media updates, e-commerce and email services. WeChat was used by Chinese expatriates for building online communities and for conducting a lot of business. But now, with its banning, every segment of Chinese diaspora from journalists to investors and students to researchers are going to suffer. The effect goes way beyond just cutting contact with families and friends. Within China, those who cannot contact their loved ones abroad will also be angry at the CCP itself. And therefore, Tencent, the parent company of WeChat, is staring at a bleak future and in turn, the city of Shenzhen is looking at another company losing out on business. The fear of losing out on its biggest tech city is palpable within the CCP Politburo as President Xi Jinping delivered a 50-minute long keynote speech on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the Shenzhen Special Economic Zone on Wednesday to infuse positive sentiments within the investors of the Silicon Valley. 
However, it was really too desperate on Xi Jinping's part to deliver a keynote speech and somehow fuel positive sentiment about the Chinese company, which currently is in a miserable state. Xi Jinping's speech was high on rhetoric and low on substance. And consequently, it went in vain, as Chinese stock markets declined despite his unprecedented attempt to enthuse the Chinese economy and to make people feel good about the future of Shenzhen. Therefore, Donald Trump has attacked China's technological hub in a meticulous way and Beijing at the moment is running amok like a headless chicken. But this is what it gets for decades of intellectual property theft. Xi Jinping and his CCP are sweating as one unicorn company after another is going down into the ground, courtesy the Trump administration which has not hesitated in bringing down the sledgehammer with utmost ferocity.